So it occurred to me when I was working with these uh, gas burners on my stove that I have the, all these extra spare parts. I have a lot of thermocouples. And so I thought it'd be interesting uh, to test one of these. I've got one out of the bag and I don't know much about uh, thermocouples. I, I know there's a dissimilar wire. When you heat it up, it generates a voltage. And and the I see the other end of the voltage. I see the other end of this goes into this, uh, looks like a, there's two, uh, it's a copper line and then an insulation bushing and then another piece. So I'm assuming the voltage is across that, these two points. What I don't understand is why it's in this copper tube. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, uh, Got a voltmeter here set to the 300 millivolt scale. And because I think there's a pretty small uh, voltage that's generated with these things. So I'm going to attach the probes to there and I get right now I get zero volts. So I've got a propane torch. I don't want to, I'm going to be careful not to heat it up too much because I don't want to hurt this part. It's new. I don't know. I might need it one day. So I'm going to heat this up and see if I can get some voltage out of this. And see. I'm just curious about it how much voltage these things put out and uh, a good way to find out is just to look and see. So I can see already it's built up to about four millivolts. There it's uh, 12. Twenty-five, I think, I don't think I want to go any higher than 25 millivolts. I believe that's around the low end of the scale of what these things put out. And I guess the uh, relay that this controls is very sensitive, doesn't require much uh, uh, voltage. I am curious about how much current it puts out now, so I'm, I might have to do some further studies and see uh, what the current is. I have to think about how to set up a test for that. <laughs> 